Okay, um, 1977 Chevy C20. Um, it's a VIN number 350 uh, engine, but somebody in their wisdom has put a 454 in it somewhere along the line, so that makes um, registration very difficult for me. Anyway, um, the problem here is that the fuel level gauge doesn't work, so... There's the fuel gauge, and uh, I'll turn the key on now. So it uh, looks like that's kaput. So um, try and get to the bottom of that now. Okay, and it's fixed. So we can see here the switch, the uh, left hand and right hand. So you can hear, maybe hear the click at the, uh, the fuel tank switch at the back. Um, the problem was just a plug was unplugged just out the front there. I'll show you where that, that uh, was in a sec. So we can see here that when I switch the fuel tank switch We'll try the, uh, I think it's the left hand, yeah, the left hand one that the needle will drop. I know that the left hand tank does have um, less fuel in it. Um, I don't know if these readings are accurate or not, but uh, anyway, that's a fix. I'll show you what it was. Okay, so just here in between the carburetor air filter and the... Um, the brake system there. There's there's that plug just there in the middle of the shot there. So that's the uh, the plug there. And I'll just show you. When you unplug that. That's your uh, your joins there. And I'll try and get a shot of. inside it there, it's a little bit difficult get the camera in there, I'll try and focus that that's, that's not going to show very much ok so there it is there so what I'd do is I'd probably do my tests I'd start off at this uh, this join here and uh, just run tests from there and you might be able to pick up on something the um, the green lead is the one from the um, the dual tank switch so the green lead just there the green lead on top I'm pretty sure that that, that tank switch has to work um, if it doesn't work then you won't get any um, uh, reading on your fuel um, level gauge Okay, I'll go under the truck now. Um, so we'll be starting from the um, the right-hand tank or passenger tank, and then we'll be coming this way. Okay, so that's the fuel sending unit, or the I beg your pardon. That is the dual um, dual tank switch. So switching from this tank to uh, to the other side tank there. And that has to be supplied with power. That's the uh, the power line there, and that goes into this harness here. You're gonna have to bear with me because it's pretty difficult to uh, to point out. Okay, so that's the uh, the wire there. That's actually the same wire as that comes through there, and that turns into a green wire might be able to just see that join there that runs through the harness runs through the harness there keeps going along continues as green might be able to point that out somehow yep yeah, there it is so that runs down goes through there 
and you may be able to see just a little bit of it there as green okay and that runs through the front runs runs up along there that one there or the outmost outer one and runs up to the um what we'll call the uh the fuel fuel gauge fuel system fuse box or junction that uh that are plugged in up there Now that grommet you can see there, so that's um, that connects to the uh, the fuel height uh, sensor, and that's a brown wire, and that's your ground there. So they go into the uh, to the um, fuel height uh, measurement uh, thing inside the tank. That's the driver's side, um, the driver's side wiring there. That's the grommet, and that is a green, uh, a green wire, and that's the ground up the top there. It doesn't look green there, but that's the colour. That's the wire um, colours of the wire in the harness that runs up to the front underneath the. Uh, the hood or bonnet. So the dual dual tank switch is that green, and this is for the um, that goes into the tank. That runs down and somewhere between here and just here. There must be a join because that second green wire it's not there. I hope this video helps and um, please like and subscribe.